Hi there, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing some deep cleaning. These are things that I've been meaning to get done for so long. It's gonna feel so good to get them done. So let's get started. Here's some quick before shots. These are things that maybe you wouldn't notice if you weren't looking closely, but after seeing them day after day, I really wanted to get them clean. And then I had some decluttering and organization as well. I got some new Easy Off degreasing solution. Um, I ran out of my old one, so this is a new one. And then I got a new shelf for my freezer because one of the shelves broke. So this is going to give me a lot more storage in my freezer and um, make the storage stronger. And then I also got this water filter, but I ended up returning it because I did not check the number and this is the wrong one. I can't believe I didn't check it. I feel so stupid, but um, I feel like it's an easy mistake and I returned this one and I ordered the right one. So here is my freezer and as you can see, it has half of it broken off. So you couldn't really put like anything heavy in there and my freezer needs to be deep cleaned as well but for today we're just replacing the shelf one thing at a time the shelf did fit i was a little concerned it wouldn't fit i got this one on amazon for like 12 bucks and i went on the frigid air website and it was like 70 dollars. so i think you know that's a steal next i'm gonna mix up some bleach water to clean out my washing machine now i have a front loading washing machine in this gasket has gotten pretty moldy, even though I always leave the door open after I do a load of laundry. So I don't know how to really get it super clean except for to take off the gasket and just soak it in bleach water. I looked up multiple ways to clean this thing and there is one way that probably is the best where you take off the whole front of the washer and like unscrew everything and there's all these springs and it just looks very extensive. For now, I'm just going to do my best to disinfect it with some bleach water and let it sit, come back to it later. I also saw someone recommend using pool shock in the gasket and just letting it sit like the granules of pool shock, but I'm a little concerned to be using, you know, granules of chemicals that could sprinkle onto the floor because my baby is like always crawling around and he's in a stage where he's just like putting everything in his mouth. So I think I'm gonna have to just come back to it at a different time and just keep little by little disinfecting it with bleach water and a rag for now. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit the like button. It really helps me to know that I'm making the right kind of videos for you guys. And it also helps my videos get discovered by new people. I'm a pretty new cleaning channel and I'm really excited to be making these videos. I love to watch cleaning videos myself. So I love the idea of being able to inspire others to go and clean their house and keep everything tidy. I've been wanting to make cleaning videos for a really long time, but I was feeling insecure because I don't have like a beautiful big house with a perfect furniture and a beautiful kitchen and everything like that. But I realized I should just do what I wanna do and inspire others because not everyone has a huge mansion filled with beautiful decorations that are perfect. And <laughs> this is just real life and everyone has to clean their house. As you can see, I'm taking another pass at the gasket here. This is really hard to film and I was getting a lot of grime out of there. Um, so I think it was pretty successful, but this is gonna be a long-term project. In the meantime, I had let the first layer of Easy Off just sit on the stove while I was doing the washing machine so that it would just kind of start to dissolve all that grease. And I decided to scrub off the grates of my uh, stove top, which I have not done in a really long time. They have all this like black soot on them and they're just so gross and messy. So this was a major project. It took me a while to really scrub them off. I guess that's one good thing about having a black stove top is like you really can't see how dirty it is. <laughs> but um, this was filthy and you can see from my gloves how much schmutz is just coming off 
of that great. It was just amazing. But so far, since I've started my cleaning channel, my house is a lot cleaner than it used to be, and I'm really, really glad about that. It's been a good inspiration for me to uh, keep cleaning, and it keeps me accountable. Also, I just want to say that I am really grateful that we have the house that we have, and to me, happiness is wanting the things you have, and just learning to accept and be happy with what is in front of you. I feel like we have a culture where we just are pushed to buy everything and get brand new everything and make everything look just so. And of course, I want to have nice things too, just like everybody in the whole world. But for today, I am just going to choose to be happy with what I have and choose to have a good day because that works for me. So back to the cleaning, you can see how filthy that rag is. And I'm like rinsing it in between um, scrubbing the stove top. This whole process took me quite a while, probably about 40 minutes. And hopefully I won't have to do this deep of a scrub on the stove top for a while. So that was just the first side and I had to do the second side, which is not as dirty as the first side. And I ended up taking the grate onto an old rag towel that I have. I have towels that are just for cleaning and scrubbing it on the countertop. I personally like to clean with washcloths or old washcloths because I think they do a better job of picking up all of the grit and grime than like a microfiber cloth. I know people love microfiber. I, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't like it. So anyway finally done with the stove. Then I'm moving on to this little island. I'm just picking up everything. Maybe I should actually call it a peninsula because it's not a true island. When we first moved in, I thought maybe we would get rid of this little peninsula, but it turns out we use it all the time. And then I'm just going back to this gasket. You can see some of the grime I'm getting out of there. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have cleaned out your gasket and what worked for you. This is my first time cleaning this washing machine. So after three rounds of scrubbing, I just decided to pour a bucket of bleach water into the drum and run it on sanitize while I clean the rest of the house. Next, I'm going to clean the scuff marks off the wall with my magic eraser. So I painted this apartment two years ago and I used kind of like a flat paint, which I really regret because it shows every little scuff mark. Every time anything touches the wall, it makes a mark, um, but you can get it off. You just have to scrub it with the magic eraser. It's kind of a funny story because I actually bought all of these magic erasers. They're generic magic erasers from a restaurant supply store. Like, I don't know five years ago and I have a bunch of them still. I'm kind of working my way to the end of them but uh, they were a really good deal because magic erasers are kind of expensive. So once I run out I'm gonna have to look for another deal on them or I, I'm, I'm not even sure if the website I ordered them from is still uh, up and running but they were such a good buy. So this peninsula here also gets a ton of food and water spilled on the wall which is the same paint as the rest of the house and so I do scrub this one down periodically. It just takes a lot of elbow grease to get it clean. I feel like before I had a baby I barely ever thought about cleaning the walls but now I have to do it a lot and I'm sure it's not going to change anytime soon. Next, I'm breaking down all of the boxes. It seems like we always have new boxes and I like to kind of keep them at bay by at least breaking them down to keep them tidy. So this shelf here is kind of like a random catch-all and it's been storing a lot of baby supplies and baby toys that uh, we don't use every day or don't use at all anymore and I need to kind of go through everything to determine what to get rid of and where is the best place to store it. So that's my plan for today. 
I think one of the things that helps me keep my house clean is to just make sure I don't have too much stuff and I like to declutter pretty regularly either give things to people who I know who could use them or just donate them to a thrift shop and this is a big help for just making sure things don't get out of control in my house or covered in dust because I can't get to them it's kind of hard and emotionally exhausting to go through everything but it really, really helps. Another thing I wanted to do was to take care of some of these plants. They're pretty overgrown. They get a lot of light and water and they're pretty healthy, which is great. So I have to go in and clip them every couple months or so. And this just makes sure that they don't get enormous. And also I like to cut off all the dead leaves, um, which make them look really ugly. So. I just like to kind of give them a little haircut and pull off the dead leaves and make sure that they are complementing my space and not taking over. You can see how much I clipped off. That's a dead one that I'm gonna take outside and I'm gonna move this one into that place. Now this one is really out of control and it really needs to be deadheaded and clipped. Part of me feels bad for chopping back these plants, but once, once it's done, it looks so much better and it does help the plant to grow better and I really do think it's good for the plant in the long run. But in my last video, I was talking about how we're kind of rearranging all the plants so that they're more baby safe. So we have to kind of figure out new places to put the plants that make sense and where they can get enough light. And I cleared off some space on the right hand shelf and so now I'm going to take some of the stuff from the left hand shelf and kind of rearrange it. It's funny because I waited an entire year after we moved in to get these shelves. I wanted them for a really long time and I had planned the whole thing out but there was um, a shortage at Ikea. They're just from Ikea. And so we couldn't get them. Uh, so now that we have them, I feel like they have not been utilized to the best and I waited so long to get them. So I'm excited to get them in a good place. This little side table here is really dusty. So I'm just going to dust it off and all the little knickknacks. I know you're probably saying, why are you dusting off an empty jar and putting it back on the shelf? Well, my plan is to put some fall decorations in there, but I have to go get some fall decorations first. So stay tuned. I'm going to be doing that in a future video and I'm really excited. These pots are real terracotta, so they kind of get mineral deposits from the water. We have pretty hard water here. So I'm just going to wipe them off because they get pretty dirty and they like chip off, not chip off, but like the dirt flakes off onto the shelf. So I just want to kind of clean it off. You can see all the grit and grime there. Next, I'm going to wash off this container. I have all these containers. I bought them from the container store like at least 10 years ago, and they're extremely good quality. And I keep using them in my house in different ways all the time. So, and they stack, which is really cool too. So I'm going to put all of the baby bowls into this container that matches the two next to it and that way it can look a little bit nicer on the shelf. I have a lot of random junk inside these drawers just because I can shove it in there and you don't see it, but my goal is to get them a little bit more organized and more functional. I wanted to put some decorative stuff or cute things on the shelves and then put the uh, less cute stuff in the cabinets or somewhere else. Over on this side, I have mostly art supplies, which if you know I'm an artist and I have tons and tons of art supplies, I'm constantly trying to consolidate them, use them. It's just a constant thing, but I cannot get rid of them. Last but not least, I'm going to vacuum because I could basically always vacuum in this house. 
it always needs to be vacuumed. There's always Cheerios and crumbs and just a bunch of junk on the floor. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but there's no music on this video. I decided to make a creative choice and do just talking. Let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think? Do you prefer to have music or do you like to have commentary? I have watched styles of videos that have both. And in my last video, I put a little bit of music, but it was mostly talking. I follow a couple other channels that just do talking while they're doing clean with me. And I think it's kind of nice because you get to kind of know a little bit more about them. And I also think a lot of the music that is used in vlogs is like not that great. And that's no shade to anybody. I have used music in my vlogs a lot. It's very hard to find good music that you are allowed to use on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you never miss another video. There's all the dirt that I got up crazy. And now I'm going to empty it into my trash can. This is always so gross, but so satisfying at the same time. So here's the after, after I've cleaned everything. It looks a lot fresher and much more organized, of course. I'm really happy with the results of today's clean, and now we're ready to enjoy the day. If you guys like this video, be sure to check out this one here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.